Hello, my name is Alina. Welcome to my channel. Today you will hear my voice a bit different because I'm a bit sick. Sorry for that. And uh, I'm still recording this video, which I'm very proud of myself that I'm still doing it because I have this challenge that I want to make one video a week and also to share the value, obviously. Let's talk today about the difference between uh, personal and executive assistants. Uh, what are the main points that they are responsible for? What are the things that uh, you can delegate to them? And where you can hire them? And what is going to be the approximate salary of each? Uh, let's start with the personal assistant. Uh, the personal assistant obviously is doing personal tasks. It's already in the title. But the thing is like what people often think that you can also give them business tasks and uh, often people like the employer or entrepreneur that is hiring them would be disappointed uh, if they do that because you underestimate how much an executive assistant needs to know and I'm going to talk about it later. But basically, a personal assistant is responsible for personal tasks like, for example, taking an appointment for the kindergarten uh, visit in your area, making a list of kindergartens for your kids. If you don't have kids, then uh, planning your personal trip with your girlfriend or boyfriend, booking a restaurant for your friends, organizing your birthday party, uh, creating a shopping list, uh, finding a nutritionist that will help you to organize all these, um, you know, like your food, your what you're gonna uh, eat in a week, uh, finding some doctors, taking appointments, managing the calendar, all those things you can delegate to a personal assistant. So everything that is related to your life. Sometimes they also uh, help with, as I said, with the, your family, for example, take an appointment for a doctor or for your wife, but it's not the usual. So usually it is a personal assistant is just for you and then your wife would have another or husband uh, have another personal assistant for them because it's uh, not easy to remember everything that one person likes. Yeah, so for that reason, the personal assistant has a deeper uh, connection with your life, better understanding of who you are, what would you prefer, a better understanding of your desires, likes, of how you want your day to be scheduled, and uh, you are personally more connected to them. So it's important that you like them personally also when you hire them. When we talk about executive assistant, it's a person that is responsible for more business tasks. They can also do sometimes some personal tasks, but mostly they are responsible for similar tasks to um, organizing, for example, your meetings, then uh, also organizing your calendar that you have great efficiency in your calendar, for example, that you, let's say that you every day at one time you have at 1 p.m. you have lunch. To executive assistant, you can delegate everything related to your business. They need to understand your business very well on the same level that other team members do. They are, I would say, if you compare, they need to know more. So they need to have more experience. They need to be more efficient than the personal assistant. Because in your personal life, if someone is doing, let's say, a small mistake in your calendar, like for example, not putting the link of the restaurant where you're going into your calendar, that could be fixed easily. You can find the place because of name, you know, but when you are working, you don't want the Zoom meeting to be missed, uh, you know, and stuff like that. So they need to be extra organized. And um, even though like both of them need to be organized, when executive assistant, uh, the cost of mistake is way higher because it is a business. So also executive assistant can help you to keep track on your uh, team's tasks. For example, let's say that your operations manager had to send you a report by Friday, but they didn't. So executive assistant goes and checks in threads and Slack, if you use Slack, uh, hey, why you didn't do it? Uh, it was expected by Friday. Without you reminding, that's a good, would be a great assistant who wouldn't need a reminder. They need to create a system uh, based on what is important for you. So as I said before, the difference between between a personal assistant and executive assistant is where their responsibilities are. Also, the salary is quite different. So let's talk about the salary. 
So the salary for a personal assistant would be lower than for an executive assistant uh, simply because an executive assistant needs to know more business. Often they might have a business degree or degrees related to business can be HR or something like this because they need to understand different businesses for with people that they're working with and uh, they need to um, keep track on important tasks and create systems. Uh, for example, you can delegate your executive assistant to create SOPs for one of your team's departments. Um, in general, I think there are more personal assistants on the market, so it's more difficult to find an executive assistant than personal assistant. Um, I also think that, so in general, often in the work when you take more responsibility over the processes, more responsibility than just your personal tasks, and it's more stressful, um, then you are getting the higher salary. Also, the great specialists are more difficult to find. The advantage of hiring an executive assistant over a personal assistant is that they can do both uh, personal and executive assistant tasks, which is also amazing. It's not super easy to find, like often executive assistants say that they prefer not to uh, do PA's work, uh, often you can agree that they do a little bit or they just, you know, they don't focus only on personal but mostly also businesses. Uh, what is the growth of executive assistant in your business? Often they can grow into a project manager at some point if you have a small company or be a kind of um, a high level admin of your company, the person who is keeping all SAPs, like a project manager also. And uh, I think it's very valuable. So I don't recommend you to hire one or another. It depends, often you would need both. So if you still have any doubts, if you are not sure who you want to hire or you have any questions about these two roles, let me know. Uh, also, I can advise on where to hire those, um, in which countries is the best to hire, depending on where you are based. Uh, and uh, please let me know. Thank you for watching this video and leave a comment and like the video. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.